In this AutoCAD tutorial, we are going to draw the orthographic view of coupling base. Dimensions are given in inches. We are going to draw the top, front, and side view in AutoCAD. So let's start it. First, I'm going to hide the grid. You can work in grid if you like. For me, I'm going to hide it. Click on line. And here at any point, uh, basically, first, I'm going to draw the top view. So I'm going to go to circle and I have to draw a circle of one radius drive one just zoom in by using your mouse middle wheel and then you have to draw a line basically here I have different type of the uh, custom layer so for this one I am going to work in the contours because these are my visible lines and make sure you are in working in front of us okay and then i have to draw a distance from this point to the other circle which is 2.5 so select this line and from the center of this circle we have to draw it so so now i select the line and when i move here this circle the center of the circle is not activated because we have to activate it from the snap objects this option and here you can see the center so now when you selected the line and go to this circle it will show the center point of this circle and here i am going to draw a straight horizontal line of 2.5 now you can see the line is not horizontal and if we move here now you can see the angle is zero that's why it's telling us it's it's complete horizontal line the other way is that you can just restrict it by clicking here activate this option now it will only draw horizontal and vertical line so like that 2.5 so now again center radius circle and from this point we are going to draw it for one inch okay let's go to line and from this point this quadrant now the quadrant snap is also activated here you can see circle has four quadrant so move your mouse to this quadrant and then end it and this line till this point then right click and enter and again go here and from this point to this point again draw a line now this line we don't need it we can delete it and again go to circle and to this uh, center of this circle and here basically uh, we have another circle of 0 0.5 same way on the other side 0 0.5 okay and at this point uh, we have to draw a line from this point till this point and from this point to this point that way so line from this point to till this point and from this point to this point so we have this shape right now some of these uh, lines and parts of the circle we don't need it and but we are going to trim it but before that i am going to draw a line and for this line we we are going to start it from the center point so this is the center point and like that and for this line um, we needed 0.625 offset so click here 0.625 offset and offset in this direction and offset in this direction now this line we don't need it i'm going to select and press delete and now just go to trim and trim the portion of the this view which we don't needed it so all of these view we don't needed it and this one to this one this one this one this one this one so from this we just draw this front view okay now we we can work uh, for this tab here 
or we can just go and draw the front view so i'm going to do uh, draw the front view and uh, for the front view we are going to project the this top view i'm going to select line tool and now we are in construction these line are just for construction i'm going to draw a line like that and again from this point a line like that and just going to track this one so basically we are tracking every point on this top view to transfer it to the front view and from here i'm going to draw contours select this one from this end point of the line so here for the snap object you can see the end point is activated so now from this one to this one and now the thickness of this so this thickness is 0 0.5 then go here track this point like that and close this one okay now we have to see what we can see from the front view so we can we can see this from from this front we can see this thing and here we have this tab and here we have uh, this empty area so here we have to draw the hidden lines and for that uh, hidden lines i'm going to select this line tool and go to construction and we are just going to transfer this point on this view so from this one i am going to draw a line like that so these are basically construction line which is going to help us to transfer this view this point on this one so now just simply extend this one till the visible edge of the front view and from here we can select the hidden line and draw a hidden line from this point like that and again repeat line and from this point like that and we can trim this extended portion we can use snap object to end this line here but i just prefer it that way okay and what we see from front view we see this tab and for that tab i am going to draw a line we are going to activate contours i'm going to line and from this center point i am going to draw a line so the length of this line is one inches because this center point is one inches from the bottom one this dimension now this circle is uh, 0 0.625 so we are going to offset this one in this direction and on the other direction so 0 0.625 and we are going to move it here and we are going to move it here okay then go to circle um, this is the center point of the circle let's move it till this end point like that now we are going to go to trim we don't need we don't need this portion all of the lines which we don't need it we are going to delete it this tool okay and then go to circle and this inner circle is 0.65 so 0.5 Its radius will be 0.25. Okay, so now we have uh, uh, this front view. This is our top view, and this 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 cut its line here till this point. So this line and this line is overlapping. So that's why we don't need it to draw this one. Okay, so now we can draw the right view go to line for that one i am going to we can simply use the line tool we can transfer this view using the middle line but this is a simple thing so i'm just going to use this one so this line track it till this point 0 0.5 and then go in in that way and, and this will become 2 0 0.5 
0.5 like that then from this point we have 0.5 and in this side it, it is also 0.5 and then just go here Basically, this point we have to drag. You can see like that, and then a line from middle, and we are going to trim this one and offset it it's 0.5 offset it 0.5 and this line and this line is with a line and this line we don't need it and then on this view we have this hole and it will be hidden on the right side view so just go to i'll go to contours for the for the construction i'm going to draw a line like that so we can transfer the point and then just go to extend and here i'm going to go to hidden and line And just trim it. Sorry, trim and right click, left click, and it's done. And now we have to draw this this tab on the top view. So we're just going to draw a construction line which is going to transfer the point and now go to contours for visible line and this line and again a line from this one to transfer this point and just use the trim in same way this hole is hidden here so we are going to draw a construction line to transfer this one so like that and again repeat line and from this point draw a line like that and we are going to extend it to transfer the point then go to hidden line hidden layers and draw this line from this point so straight line like that and again a straight line like that and we can trim this like that so then for the construction we can hide it so now here you can see our drawing is completed we have a uh, tangent edges here this circular point like that tangent edge we can draw it also a tangent edge, edge for this uh, this circular shape and at this point at the center point going like that we can draw this tangent point uh, but I think there is no need uh, then we can go to dimension and if we want we can dimension this one and from this point to this circular hole we have this dimension like that we can add the dimensions